The trail of life uh, runs on two tracks. Forgiveness, where we ask for forgiveness, and we forgive others. And the other track is worship, praise. Why worship? Why praise? Because scripture tells us in Psalm 22 and verse 3, the Lord is present, the Lord is enthroned, the Lord is present in the praises of his people. When the people praise him, when they bless him, when they glorify him, God is present. But he is not present in a passive way. It is not a static presence. No. It is a salvific presence. It is a saving presence. A presence that sets us free. A presence that heals us. A presence that transforms us. So God saves his people while we praise him, while we glorify him, while we acknowledge that God is God. That is what praise is, to acknowledge that he is Lord and all power all authority in heaven and on earth is his. But above all, it is to acknowledge his mercy and his love. And then to abandon myself into his hands, into the hands of the one who loves me. This praise is not flattery. It is not flattery of a servant or a liege or a vassal. No. It is that I a creature, I recognize, I acknowledge that he is the creator, that God is God. That is why I would like to take Psalm 91 and Take Psalm 91 because I think it is a great help, a great example that can show us how we can praise Him in this time of this pandemic. Psalm 91, and we make it our praise. Lord, I live in the shelter of the Most High. I abide, Lord, in your shadow. Lord, I say to you, you are my refuge. Lord, you are my fortress. Lord, in you I trust. For you, Lord, you will deliver me from the snare of the fowler, from the deadly pestilence. Lord, you cover me with your pinions. Lord, under your wings I will find refuge. Lord, your faithfulness is shield and buckler for me. I will not fear, Lord, the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or the destruction that weighs at noonday. 
Lord, maybe a thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not come near me. Lord, I made you my refuge. I made you, Lord, my dwelling place. And when we praise him, he is present. And in his presence, he answers, as we see also in the psalm. The Lord then says, I will deliver you because you love me. I will protect you because you know my name. When you call on me, I will answer you. I will be with you in trouble. I will rescue you. I will honor you. With long life, I will satisfy you. And I will show you my salvation. You see, it's word, God's word, and answer, God answering. He is present in the praises of his people. Not like a monument. He is present, alive. He is there. Therefore, the best way for us to go through this storm of this coronavirus, the best way is to praise Him, to bless Him, to glorify Him as our Lord and God. And with confidence, abandoning ourselves into His mercy and love. 